Rockstar officially announced the next GTA game over a year ago, on February 4th, 2022, through a tweet and on their website, saying, We are pleased to confirm that active development for the next entry in the Grand Theft Auto series is well underway. It seems that this announcement probably didn't suffice for the hacker, who somehow broke into the GTA 6 developer's communicator and stole files from their conversations. On Sunday, September 18th, 2022, he posted a massive leak of more than 90 video clips from the development of GTA 6 on GTA forums. Nobody expected that the popular forum uniting GTA fans would become the home of leaked videos. The first people who saw the hacker's post couldn't believe it was true, considering it a scam and questioning the credibility of the link and its content. However, it quickly turned out that the recordings were indeed there and looked real. The news of the leak quickly spread on social media platforms. Reuploads of these leaked videos started appearing on Twitter, YouTube, and way more websites. On the same day, videos that had been leaked on various platforms started to disappear from the internet because of Take-Two interactive DMCA takedown requests. This was the first sign that the leaks were 100% real. The next day, GTA forums thread and GTA 6 subreddit also removed the leaked content. And surprisingly, Rockstar Games confirmed the authenticity of the leak. The most important 10 information we gathered from these videos are 1. The game will take place in Vice City, with both urban and non-urban areas featured. It will be heavily based on Miami and will include a large amount of accessible buildings, like restaurants, pawn shops, and supermarkets. Based on the coordinates, the map should be around 50% bigger than GTA 5's map. 2. The game is set in modern times, following the events of GTA 5. One of the NPCs on the leaked footage talks about the death of Life Invader CEO Jay Norris, who Michael DeSanta killed in 2013. Unless GTA 6 takes place in multiple timelines, that means GTA 6 will take place in late 2010s or early 2020s. 3. Players will control at least two characters, Lucia and Jason, each with their own special abilities, similar to what we've seen in GTA 5. For instance, Jason will be able to identify valuable loot by changing the screen to black and white and highlighting key items. Also, the playable characters can call each other to ask for assist as an AI partner during robberies. 4. There will be RPG elements in the game such as hunger, eating, drinking, sweating, fatigue, and the ability to tame animals. 5. The police mechanics will also be refined. Players will have the option to bribe the police, as in GTA 4 or GTA Online. Two stars will no longer be lethal. Police will only target players, possibly shooting their legs. And during heists, cops will strategically plan their actions, rather than simply pushing their way in, as in earlier games. Also, they're gonna remember your vehicle's color, model, and license plate, meaning the player has to switch vehicles to avoid being chased again. Six, CCTV cameras will be functioning. If players commit a crime in front of a camera, cops will be notified. There were rumors that the story of GTA 6 is going to be similar to RDR 2, where you have to run from town to town away from police staying in motels. Some people are saying it's basically going to be Bonnie and Clyde type of story. 7. Conversations with NPCs will be similar to those in RDR 2, but improved. In one of the clips, Lucia is robbing a diner, and she can be seen with several choices, such as robbing of pedestrians or using a melee attack on them. 8. The weapon wheel has been redesigned, and it's similar to RDR2, with the ability to switch to equipment and gear. GTA 6 will use a backpack duffel bag system similar to the satchel system seen in RDR2. 9. There are more drive-by capabilities. As a passenger, you can stand and shoot from outside the window as well as from the bed of a truck. This allows using weapons such as assault rifles during drive-bys. 10. There will be an option to carry a body on players' shoulders, take people as living shields, and ability to tie up hostages. The obvious thing is that the graphics looked really good in those clips, I think better than GTA 5. But the game was in the early development stage, so we cannot judge how the graphics looked, because polishing graphics in games is one of the last things that developers works on. The response on social media to the leak of material has been varied. Numerous fans expressed their empathy towards the developers, whose unfinished work was illegally exposed. However, some people have criticized the gameplay footage and the game's development, despite it being far from finished. Shortly after the leak, many players started to ask, what will happen to GTA 6 now? Will this situation affect work on the game? Will the release date be postponed? Rockstar Game Statement posted day after the leak said, We recently suffered a network intrusion in which an unauthorized third party illegally accessed and downloaded confidential information from our systems, including early development footage for the next Grand Theft Auto. 
At this time, we do not anticipate any disruption to our live game services, nor any long-term affect on the development of our ongoing projects. We are extremely disappointed to have any details of our next game shared with you all in this way. Our work on the next Grand Theft Auto game will continue as planned, and we remain as committed as ever to delivering an experience to you, our players, that truly exceeds your expectations. We will update everyone again soon, and of course, we'll properly introduce you to this next game when it is ready. We want to thank everyone for their ongoing support through this situation. It was good to hear that work on the next Grand Theft Auto game will continue as planned. The situation was disappointing, but the head of Rockstar's parent company confirmed it didn't have an impact on business matters. Speaking to IGN, Take Two CEO Strauss Zelnick said, We take leaks very seriously indeed, and they disappoint all of us. It's really frustrating and upsetting to the team. As a business matter, we're not affected. But as a personal matter and an emotional matter, our teams are affected. You may also wonder who was behind the hack attack and what were the consequences for them. The leaker has claimed that he was also behind the hacking of Uber week earlier. The hacks revolved around the communication app, Slack, which the group used to gain sensitive information. Since not one, but two huge companies were targeted by the hackers, the FBI got involved in the matter. Uber said on their website, We believe that this attacker, or attackers, are affiliated with a hacking group called Lapsus which has been increasingly active over the last year or so. This group typically uses similar techniques to target technology companies, and in 2022 alone has breached Microsoft, Cisco, Samsung, Nvidia, and Okta, among others. There are also reports over the weekend that this same actor breached video game maker Rockstar Games. We are in close coordination with the FBI and U.S. Department of Justice on this matter, and will continue to support their efforts. On the evening of Thursday, September 22, 2022, the City of London police arrested a 17-year-old in Oxfordshire on suspicion of hacking as part of an investigation supported by the National Cyber Crime Unit. The suspect is believed to be one of the leaders of Lapsus who, then age 16, was among the seven arrested in March 2022 under suspicion of hacking several other companies, during which he accumulated £10.6 million. Appearing before the Highbury Corner Youth Court on the 24th of September, he was charged with two counts of breach of bail conditions and two counts of computer misuse. He pleaded guilty to the former and not guilty to the latter, denying the prosecutor's claims that he used a mobile phone he didn't have permission to have to hack and ransom companies. After all, he has been remanded to a youth detention center. It is not known publicly whether he hacked alone or with the help of colleagues from the group, but the police stated that more arrests should be expected. Unfortunately, there was no further information about it. It is worth mentioning the reaction of the gaming industry to the whole situation. Many fellow developers expressed sympathy on social media, due to the fact that Rockstar Games received a lot of hate related to how the game looked as it was leaked in an early development stage. Other game developers started showcasing how their games looked like before they began polishing the graphics for comparison. Joe Miller, a famous name in the gaming industry, shared a comparison between the early build of the famous game Marvel's Spider-Man and its finished quality. He stated, Never ever judge a game based on super early builds. Naughty Dog Central shared early build footage of The Last of Us, one of the most popular games of the decade. The source mentioned the following in a tweet. Every game you ever played went through this. Gaming director of A Plague Tale, Kevin Shoto, shared a brief comparison of the game's early build and its release statement, and the clip shows a huge difference. It was really good to see the entire gaming community coming in support for Rockstar Games. GTA 6 leak has been described as one of the biggest in video game history, and surely was a nightmare for Rockstar Games. I'm eagerly awaiting more information about GTA 6, and it would be best if we could get the long-awaited trailer so that all doubts are resolved. And did you know about this leak? Did you see the leaked footages? Let me know in the comments below. I also want to see what you think about the whole situation. Also, I remind you to subscribe to my channel, because over half of you watching this video still haven't subscribed to me. See you in the next one.